hey what's up friends welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple confirmation code or password generator using php it's going to be very very simple almost two lines of code from 12 to 13 that's all we need and for this to work you need to be running at least a local server as you can see this is the control panel for my local server and if you have to check the uniform resource locator or the url i'm running on a local server so that's where i'm running this file from in case you don't have and you have a website so after using this upload your file to web server anything and you'll be refreshing this page and you see stuff changing so what we are going to do what we are having here sorry i just created some opening tag and closing tag for php and inside it i'm having a variable called generator and i assigned it to a long string as you can see we are having letters and numbers from A to Z, from 1 to 0, basically. Now what you're going to do is echo out, sorry, echo out a function called string underscore shuffle. And we want to shuffle this variable called generator. So we are shuffling this, put a semicolon, save and preview it in the browser. You see, they will generate some weird code for the user. So what they are doing, they are reshuffling these characters or string, and they are giving us some unique. You see, when we when we refresh the page, it keeps on changing. So for the user, and I have seen sites still providing such a long string for the users to use as they are login passwords. Sites like there is a site called. Steam it. I don't know if you have used it. These guys, they are the one to give you a password to use. So they provide some long string like this. And I think this will be some difficult for the user to memorize. So you have to place it somewhere to be coming back and looking at it, using it to log in. So I'm going to be showing you how you can limit at least for the user to be having at least eight characters, nine characters, stuff like that. So what you have to do is wrap this function inside another function called the substring. So make sure you wrap this inside it. And this substring takes in two parameters. The position where you want it to start from, you want it to start from zero and at least up to eight. So it will return back at least eight characters. When we save this and refresh, you see the return back eight characters so this is what the substring function does it returns back the specified position or numbers of the characters the person or the developer set i don't know if you have got the explanation let me repeat it again so this substring is used to cut part of a string so this is a string so what this substring does it goes out and cuts at least let's say eight letters what we have set here if we set 20 and save here and preview it in the browser the return save uh, sorry the return back eight or 20 characters sorry basically that's how you can easily create a simple generator when we set to still this side the return to characters which is not safe for your passwords or confirmation codes so it has to be at least a maximum of 10 to 20 so basically that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you go ahead subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorial we only needed two lines of code and major parts this function of the string shuffle and this function of the substring to restrict the number of characters that will be returned back to the user peace